understand that premiere. I will let you speak in a minute. Maybe. First, though, forget those glamorous windswept beaches of Hawaii, California, or indeed Cornwall. The place to go surfing, we're told, is right here in the capital. At least it will be soon. A huge <laughs> <laughs> They don't mind in Aston Villa. They're made of tougher stuff. <laughs> It's a huge development and it's going on in uh, East London right near to Excel and is using one of the Thames docks. Uh, it'll be the city's first wave centre designed just for all of our thousands of budding surfers. Chrissy Reedy went to check it out. Floaters, off the lips, cutbacks, all a familiar sight off the Cornish coast. Well, soon you won't have to make the 300-mile journey to Cornwall as plans for a new surf centre in London get underway. The world's first outdoor surfing machine will try to rival the Atlantic Breakers and tempt urban surfers to the 70-acre site at Silvertown Keys. What we've got here is 60 acres of land. Uh, we've got 20 acres of water, which is incredible, all enclosed and encapsulated uh, in a, sta in a stable uh, system. So we're going to basically utilise all that land and water, which is uh, a heritage from the Docklands years, uh, to create a stunning new mixed-use development. It's true that you can't beat the real thing, but um, we can simulate the real thing. It's almost uh, exactly the same as the real thing in terms of the waves that we'll create and the experience that we'll create, and uh, it's right on your doorstep. Of all the extreme sports, surfing in Britain is by far the biggest. There are probably about 500,000 surfers across the country. Most of them live outside the southwest. In London alone, there are around 60,000. So wouldn't it be great that every time you wanted to ride the wave, you didn't have to take that 300 miles to Cornwall? The new centre will be built at Silvertown Keys using water from the Thames. You'll be able to test out the artificial surf machine, whether you're a novice or a professional. And if it all sounds like too much exercise, you can just lie out on the beach, minus the Californian weather. The new surf centre will use water direct from the Thames. A filter system will be installed to keep the water clean, similar to what you get with a swimming pool. With planning permission secured, it's hoped London Surf Centre will ease congestion on the Cornish beaches as well as taking excess traffic off the roads. So, they may be able to simulate the waves. One thing they can't do anything about is the view. Chrissy Reedy, London Tonight, in Silverton. It's not quite Maui, but you never know, it might get close. Yeah. Possibly so. Possibly so. Well, Chrissy, the marvellous, brilliant Chrissy, will indeed be back later on in the programme. But